Hey guys, my name is Simsy and welcome back to some more FIFA 15 career mode. We're playing as Manchester United and this is season 10. So let's get straight and right into it. We are in the January transfer window and we do have a match against West Ham in today's episode. Learning out some players here, Mbolo, Sul, um, Luis Quintero, 23 years of age, 84 overall. The Colombian is Radamau Falcao's regen. Um, I was umming and I actually got two offers Um to go to Udinese or to Spurs, but I'd much rather him go over to the Serie A. A lot less competition. It'll be easier on his legs, and it won't be a rival for me. Uh, Blazovic, who I signed on a pre-contract, is going to Bayern Munich. Not too much of a contender for the Champions League these days, but uh, Jack Grealish completes a quick-fire move to Manchester City, which is a pretty good move on his behalf. Did take him 10 seasons, Rob, but Jack Grealish in career mode in FIFA 15 is a phenomenal player. But uh, Gaz Inga, that's, I think that's how you say his name, the Watford man. Um, I think he used to play for Southampton, believe me if I'm wrong, but uh, or quote me rather said. Um, 10 million goes to QPR, so that was that QPR's big signing. Basically spent all my money during the August transfer window, so I wasn't really looking to, to sign anyone or replace anyone, uh, to be perfectly honest. But we got an offer here from Eric De Silva. is going on a short-term loan in the Liga BVVA for Villarreal. A um, couple of other loans here and there, but not that big of um, transfers. Fulham managed to spend and splash the cash $20 million on uh, two different players. Guzman and Hendricks. So um, it's very interesting to see how those signings will pan out. But guys, it's a sad time. Arturo Vidal has decided to hang up the boots. So I will be making him captain for the last match of the Premier League against West Ham. And I will be uh, making him in the, cha uh, the captain in the Champions League final. He was one of the crucial signings in the first season to get where we are today. I um, In season one of the Manchester United Crimo, if you can remember it. We managed to sign Matt Hummels and Vidal in the August transfer window, and that really cemented our league and gave us our first Premier League title under me as management. Obviously, we didn't have any Champions League, thanks to David Moyes, but uh, nevertheless, as you see here, I'm quickly going through and changing uh, Vidal to captain. I'm putting him up front in replace of Mario Goethe. But guys, if you can remember Radamel Falcao's final match in the Premier League, he scored a hat-trick Phenomenal player, and we've picked up his region. Obviously, we want his region to grow a little bit more. He just isn't quite big enough to get into the first team. But uh, regardless, Luis Suarez on the ball manages to find Vidal, and he gets the first shot off for the match. Superb um, attempt, nevertheless. But uh, West Ham were playing really, really well in this match, and same with Chelsea in the last. But uh, Suarez on the ball, breaking array, cuts back, cuts back again. Unfortunately, couldn't put in the back of the net. They would have been a really nice goal. But Lee Chang Min from West Ham manages to find Ben Yedder, the former Olympic Lyon man, is superb up front. But West Ham break the deadlock just before the 35th minute. Oh, on the stroke of the 35th minute, rather said, before the 36th. And uh, we were determined to get back into this in the second half. Gareth Bale on the ball manages to find the head of Luis Suarez, a nice diving header, probably one of the, the best goals of the season. I was actually aiming for Robert Lewandowski a little bit down at the back post, but um, Luis Suarez does the flying Dutchman, very much like Robin Van Persie. Oh, not really, but um, he definitely um, dived at it, as you see there. I loved how he just committed his full body into it. No, Robin Van Persie's head of the flying Dutchman was superb, absolutely out of this world, but a uh, really nice attempt there. Luis Suarez, like I said, committing his full body, but West Ham, like I said, weren't down and out for the count. They weren't going to let Manchester United win the match and lift the trophy. They're playing some really nice tiki taka football, and especially Lee Chang Min, the I reckon definitely man of the match for West Ham, manages to whip it in, and he was really instrumental in creating that comeback goal there to make it 2 1 just before the 54th minute. But like I said, we were still determined. Uh, along with West Ham to try create something and Flanagan manages to get taken down in a very dangerous situation and the West Ham defender picks up a another yellow card which obviously means he's going to be going off Michael there in the 59th minute. One player down and West Ham were in a very dangerous position. Now I'm going to give Gareth Bale the free kick. Obviously he scored 
Um, no, he didn't actually score against Chelsea. He came awfully bloody close. 25 yards out. Gareth Bale steps up to make it 2-2. Slots it into the back of the net just before the 63rd minute. And hopefully we can get some sort of points out of this match to hopefully win our 10th consecutive Champions, uh, our Premier League trophy. We're going for our ninth consecutive um, Champions League in the next episode. So that should be a good one as well. But guys, if you still are enjoying this FIFA 15 Manchester United career mode, please leave a like. I would really much appreciate it. I do put a lot of effort into my videos. And a simple like really does go a long way. And it gives me a good general consensus if you're still liking the series. And subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date. But uh, West Ham here manages to absolutely shred my defense. And Lee here again absolutely buried this in the back of the net. Does one, does two. Kurt Zuma got pulled way too far out. And a nice little tramp across goal makes it 3-2 for West Ham. One player down. They were not... Um, going to let us settle for that. But Neymar on the ball, fresh off the bench, finds Gareth Bale, does one play. He's trying to find the head of Luis Suarez again, finds Vidal, and Vidal answers in his last Premier League match. Makes it 3-3 just before the 83rd minute, and I'll be celebrating too, Vidal. Absolutely phenomenal. Really nice ball from Gareth Bale, tearing down the wing, but a really exciting match. Six goals in total. But West Ham were at it again with still one player down. They managed to draw a penalty. And it was actually Vidal. I can't believe that. Scored a goal at the other end. And looks like we could be going one more goal down. But West Ham step up. Najjar. And the piss pouring rain absolutely scuffs it. And it still remains 3-3. Now will either team get a 90th minute screamer? We'll have to find out. Gareth Bale obviously bursting down the wing previously to create the goal for Vidal. But hopefully we can replicate the same situation. He cuts back. He's actually going to go a little bit greedy here. Does the other defender. Gets the finesse off in the 90th minute. Gareth Bale makes it 4-3. And we managed to win the final match in the Premier League in Season 10. But what a match it was. Got it. What a match it was, to be perfectly honest. West Ham had nothing to lose. They went all guns blazing. And they're still trying to get another one here, but uh, it wasn't to be. But a lot of goals. A really exciting match, if I do say so myself. Um, probably the best match of the season. That Lee Chang Min guy, depending on his rating, I might need to pick him up next season because he had a phenomenal match. Phenomenal. Um, but, guys, it's good to see the team celebrating. Sad to see Vidal leave next season. We will be hunting for his regen if we do do season 10. Uh, sorry, season 11 of the Manchester United career. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you don't want to see Season 11, um, leave a another suggestion of career modes you'd like to see. Maybe I should bring back, or maybe I should play some other video games. Let me know in the comments. I'm always curious to know your constructive criticism. But a shame Luke Shaw won't be lifting it at the moment. But Arturo Vidal, very instrumental for setting up setting up the career mode, essentially. He was phenomenal in the first couple of seasons. Obviously, we had to get some young blood in, such as Paul Pogba and Gertz, said to fill his position. But um, really quite happy that he's retired at Manchester United, and I wish him all the best. So, guys, I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching if you watched all the way through. I appreciate it. And remember to go and have a fantastic rest of your day after you watch the video. My name has been Simsy. Stay tuned for more content on my channel. Goodbye.